Hey everyone, it's Apiana here, back with another review. Shocker, right? <laughs> um, but I woke up today and did not even know that this was released until I went on YouTube. Everyone was doing a review and, um, well, I actually totally forgot that EA was going to release the Cool Kitchen stuff, let alone today. So I am very psyched to try this out. Check out all the objects, uh, not so much the cats, but more of the uh, kitchen objects, of course. And um, I don't know if you guys noticed, a lot of my speed builds, I always decorate the kitchen. It's like a crazy obsession, like I have to decorate and you know, with this stuff pack, I can do so much more, even if it's just a few extra items but it can really change the look of everything. So I am so psyched to try this out. Like, I swear all the stuff pack released before, even the game packs, I wasn't all that excited, but this one, girl. <laughs> all right, so this is pretty much the welcome screen. And then you have all these cool little um, slideshows of previews what you can add on to your kitchen to change up the look. So let's just go dive right in. We're gonna go into create a household and check out what um, cast items are available. Alright, so we're gonna get a mail in here as well. Alright, let's go ahead and start with the mail. I don't know if there's any hairstyles, but let's check. Let's check, check, check. Cool kitchen. Alright, so there are two hairstyles. First, we have this one. Let's remove the beard. Um, I would say this looks very different than the rest of the base game hairstyles or uh, any of the stuff packs. It's, um, yeah, a little bit more unique, but I don't know if I will ever use this. And then, um, this one is very similar to a game pack hairstyle. I can't pinpoint which one, but, uh, yeah, this looks very similar. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but yeah. <laughs> uh, let's check out the hats. Okay, I don't think there is any since there's no little star. Accessories? I don't think so. Well, for sure, no makeup. This is not it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's just from Get to Work. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it for the hairstyles. Or anything from the neck up. Uh, let's check out clothing. Oh, so we do have... Let me make sure. Oh, we have two, four, six, eight different clothing tops. That's very awesome because I feel like guys never have enough. Like they always have very limited uh, releases when it comes to clothing. I don't know why. But here's this first one. Very, very like, I don't know, like back in like the 90s with the really bright colors. Uh, but it does come in different color options and then the next one we have this I'm guessing this is like a leather jacket, which uh, pretty pretty cool. I Feel like um these right here including this one has some Different colored padding for the shoulders if that makes sense. I don't even know what you call it. I'm not a fashion type of girl, so I don't know what it would be called. <laughs> and then our next one is a jean sweatshirt. I think that's what you call this, right? Jean dress shirt? I don't know, but it does come in uh, all jean uh, type related colors. Very nice. And then we have this very casual sweater with the skeleton design. And it does come in um, a lot of different variety of colors and then the t-shirt inside changes color as well and then our next one um, I'm guessing this is supposed to be like fur-ish material and then this is like suede material but this one looks really nice I don't know is it me or it seems like all these clothes are not looking too bad right now <laughs> and then we have an um sweater a zip up sweater <laughs> I don't even know but uh, it does come in all different type of colors and then next one we have this um, plaid t-shirt rolled up sleeve with the vest very nice very very nice and it does come in all different colors as well and our last one 
it's very similar to the this one right here where it's like a zip up sweater but they have a little button on the collar to just give it some look and then some zipper pockets so very very nice I do like this um, ooh, especially this one actually never mind it looked better in the icon <laughs> all right so on to food body I'm pretty sure we might have a few we have one not a few, but one. Um, it's very similar to, I think, Get to Work, uh, the one with the apron, but a more plain design rather than the one with a lot of cute pictures on the apron and, you know. And he, has, he even has a little handkerchief sticking out of the pocket. That's pretty awesome. All right, so on to the pants. Uh, I think we only have one. Which is this jean that's kind of ripped up with some style and it does come in different colors All right, so let's go on to accessories uh, Nothing all right <laughs> on to shoes. Let's see uh, All right, so there's no shoes. I think that's fine. I Was expecting some shoes. Nope. No shoe. All right, so that pretty much sums up the guys I believe all right, so let's go ahead and move on to the girls. That was very, very quick. <clears throat> All right, so for hairstyles, we have five new hairstyles. Uh, first one, ooh, look at that poof, that poof. <laughs> um, I don't know if I would really like this one, but I definitely cannot see myself using this on a sim. Maybe if I ran out of hairstyles to use, then I'll give this a try, but I wouldn't personally use it. It's just not my style of preference. And our next one is um a lot of poof going on. It's a lot of like I don't know what you, I'm just guessing you're supposed to call this the poof. But um yeah, it's 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 nice, but still not something I would personally use on my Sims. And then our third one, um very plain short hair oh it even has a headband and it does come in only uh oh i guess if you use a lighter hair the band gets darker but if you have darker hair oh it actually doesn't change color i would assume it would be a, like a lighter band so it'll be more noticeable that's fine all right so our next one um very simple straight short haircut uh, with the little nice bangs. I would probably see myself use this one But um, uh, I don't know. All right, so our last one uh, is pretty much a tied back bun with some bangs sticking out and it's um Honestly all these hairstyles with this stuff pack. It's kind of like eh for me Like I'm not really digging all these hairstyles. It's not something I would prefer my sims to use But if you like it that's all good. <laughs> all right, so for hats, we have no hats. Accessories. Oh, we do have one, which is these um very squid-like earrings. I don't know. To me, they look kind of squiddish-like. I don't know if that makes sense, but it does come in different colors. I get this somewhat unique. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> I like how there's two different colors. All right, so for makeup. Um, I cannot tell if that's from another pack, so let's see. Nope. So we have no makeup for the Cool Kitchen stuff pack. All right, so let's just go check on tops. We do have two, four, six, seven different tops. Um, wow, I'm surprised. It's actually one less than the males. So we have this very nice uh, dress blouse. Not blouse, but. I don't know what you call this, a dress jacket with a handkerchief over the neck and uh, not handkerchief, did I say handkerchief? I meant scarf. <laughs> don't mind me, I, like I said, I just woke up so that's why my voice is all jacked up too. But it does come in different colors. I actually do like this, but I don't know if the color combo with the scarf is kind of matching or it's kind of awkward. And our next one, oh, very, very cute. It's like a tank top with a waist high long sleeve sweater. And it does have 
pretty good color combo I do like this and then our next one is a simple tee with a jean jacket and not really digging some of the color combos but I do like this and then our next one is a very hippie sweater with a simple t-shirt under I don't know, I, this is like not my style when it comes to like, you know, clothing. So to me, this one's like, eh, not really digging the pattern. A lot of people might may like it, but personally for me, not really. All right, so our next one is, um, ooh, I do like this. It has like a nice tank top with the plaid shirt and then a jean jacket over, which is kind of ripped and it looks pretty cool, I admit. Pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> Color combo is not bad at all. And then our next one is, ooh, this is something I would wear. <laughs> Very plain, but this is something I would personally wear. And the color combos are nice, so it's just like a simple sweater. And then the sleeves is different color, has like a little pattern. So very, very nice. And then our last one is pretty much a tank top with the V-neck sweater. Um, I actually would wear something like this, except the sweater will be just one color, and then uh, my tank top will be another color. And it does come in different styles. I think, uh, oh, as well as patterns, so this is what I was talking about. I would wear something like this. My style of clothing is very plain, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out Foo Body. Same as male, we have... A very simple outfit with the apron and the, for the girls they have a little more pattern design with have like a little strap right in the middle and then two pockets whereas the male I think there's only one pocket and um, oh the girls doesn't have the little handkerchief that sticks out I think that's another difference all right so for pants let's double check so we have three different pants. We have this first one. It's um, I guess these are called like the boyfriend jeans, where they're very loose, and they're about uh, I don't know what you call it, three-legged pants. And then the designs are like ripped, and I don't know. This looks pretty cool, but not something I would wear. <laughs> and it comes in a lot of different colors as well. And our next one is this very futuristic type of dress in my opinion but the color combos are very nice i don't know if i will use this but it's a nice dress and then our last uh, bottom is these um disco pants <laughs> i don't know i call these disco pants where they have like the trumpet bottoms is like really long and big um uh, i don't know if i would personally use this but if you guys like it all great all right so on to accessories uh so i don't think this is it right oh yeah this is it um so she does have this wristband very um i don't know what you call this very galaxy like like outer space type of thing like she can shoot stuff with it or something i don't know <laughs> um okay so and then on to shoes no shoes for the females so that's pretty much all the cast items i mean is there anything for kids let's double check uh, um let me see for kids there's no hairstyles how about clothing i always never check for kids nope nothing for kids all right so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the build and buy objects all right so here we are at the build and buy mode and this is the one thing i'm most excited about i cannot even tell you guys Whew. all right so we have two pre-made rooms let's go ahead and put in the catalog not included oh i like this one let's go ahead and put this in here and then we have another one called sweet dining that comes in three different colors as well Ooh. I like this pink one. Love, love, love this pink one. <laughs> All right, so this is the pre-made room. You have the counters, and you can already tell the counter uh, tops, as well as the what do you call these? The cabinets. 
do brain fart. <laughs> the cabinets are a lot different. And then we have all these new items, except for the trash bin. That's always been there. Um, and then we have a new dining room. As you can see, there's new paintings, new dining tables, as well as dining chairs. The rug we already have seen before. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And we're going to go into more details with uh, the buy mode objects. I don't know if that was a new wallpaper. I felt like a wallpaper I've never seen before, but I could be wrong. Alright, so it doesn't seem like we have any new build items. Not buy, but build. Alright, so um, first thing, let's go ahead and build us a, a wall here. Actually, let me put it here. I'm gonna put a wall, try out the decors, and then a room for the lights. Alright, so, uh, first thing here is the four top all day stove. Oh. Uh, it does look pretty modern, because you can tell by the top there's no. that thing. I don't know what you call that thing that goes over on top of the stove, so, you know, you don't touch. Alright, so the first thing we see here is the four top all day stove and it does come in different colors. Very nice, very modern. Um, you can tell already by the top it's different than a average stove with that thing on top, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, and then we have this sweet tooth ice cream machine holy cow it's an ice cream machine i thought it was like a blender or something but let me go ahead and add a countertop so we can see on the ice cream machine and the countertop does come in a lot of different colors um not as modern as i thought it would be when it comes to the natural wood colors like this it looks a little different but here's the ice cream machine oh you know what let me go ahead and test out the different colors so it looks very, very nice. A lot of modern colors, which I like. Ooh, all right, I like the pink the most. <laughs> ah, all right, and then uh, we have these lumbar liquidators dining chair. And uh, they're also very modern, but you know what I realized? With modern chairs, there's never any cushion. So I don't know how comfortable that can be, but hey, it's The Sims, anything goes, right? <laughs> and then we have the fuel of the back support stool and just like the dining chair we have the same amount of colors but I do like the yellow for some reason and then we have the alpha beta fong island really alpha beta fong <laughs> um, but it does cover the same colors as the countertop the countertop is actually called the alpha beta fong counter what an interesting name all right and this is the what I was most excited about is the cabinets. I don't know. I have an obsession with cabinets. Go figures. <laughs> um, but as you can see, it does come in different colors, just like the countertops. And I do like these because, as you can see, there are details of plates and cups and, you know, just a lot of everyday uses inside the cabinets this is so freaking awesome <laughs> let's try out the different ones that i could try out so we have like a smaller version definitely add a lot of like different look onto the kitchen with the cabinets and this one oh so this is what i love to use in a lot of my speed builds if you don't notice already <laughs> i always use these cabinets the the full long like wall height ones and um i think if this was in different color it would look a lot nicer like the white or the black not so much the wooden colors but i do like how you still have the little preview of the plates and such and then everything here is enclosed and it's not the whole entire thing so pretty pretty awesome and then uh you know our usual the corner ones and they're all pretty much the same they all have the little plate preview so that's very awesome awesome awesomeness i feel like i'm really tiring out the word awesome <laughs> all right so our next one is uh they might be giants table oh so i mean it's nothing too unique maybe because 
I've seen a lot of things in like The Sims 3, so to me it's like nothing wow. But at least it's a really long table. You can fit three, six, seven, eight uh, maximum of Sims on this table. So that's still pretty cool. Alright, our next one is the Cookbook Nook. Uh, pretty cool name. I'm guessing you can stack these and, you know, make like a long, high uh, bookcase. I don't know. Um, but yeah, ooh, I like this pink one. Can we stack it on top? It won't allow us, but let me try something. Let me try. Alright, so let's go ahead and move this up. Oh, so I guess that would work. I mean, it's a little shaking, but yeah, you can totally stack like different colors to make like a very cool looking bookshelf. Yeah, so I mean, that only works besides the little glitchy when you move the camera. I mean, it still works. It looks very nice, right? <laughs> um, all right, our next one is the less is more sink and it does come in a lot of like metal colors so very very nice Ooh, they have a red one that's pretty awesome all right and our next one is called the spirit bloom bundles oh omg <laughs> see i mean just a little simple table decor can really change up the whole room all right so our next one is called the modern sim temporary um, painting, I guess, and oh, not just different colors. It comes in different pattern designs, and oh my goodness, this is so cute. Oh, MG, <laughs> shut the front door. This is so freaking cute. <laughs> All right, let's try another one. Oh wow. Also, oh, this is the one that we saw in the pre-made room, and dude, these you can definitely use for like a cafe or a bakery. It would just make the whole place. So much cuter. Oh my god, I am gonna die over these paintings. <laughs> Alright, so our next one is the Lighthouse Salt and Pepper. So you can definitely put these over here and um, of course change up the colors and just add so much different decor onto your countertop. And then we have this uh, Missy End Plate. Alright, that's not gonna work. Let's check it out over here. So very nice. Um, oh, I think this whole red and black thing would work very well. <laughs> it looks very nice already, but I like the, you know, how they have this, it's not all filled up, and there's some empty slots, and then we have some plates, it's very awesome. Alright, and our next one's called The Nicer Home and Lots Classic Cookbook. Oh, and I am gonna die over all these cute items. <laughs> Uh, I'm a sucker for cute items, if you haven't noticed. Alright, our next one, we have this Mr. Holy's Wood Block. So it's just kind of like a wooden block that comes in different colors and it has all these um, what you, carving marks. Yes, carving marks all over it. So it's uh, a little weird, but I guess it will work if you make it into really nice decor all right our next one is called the taste of you mommy spice rack oh my oh M oh oh my <laughs> that's all i have to say oh my and it does come in different color this is really cool hold on let me put it down so we can see the details so this is very very cool very very cool all right our next one is called it's magic utensils so very very awesome like these can you can really change up so many like different feel of the kitchen and it does come in a lot of different colors so a lot of color themes you can work with and we have different knives and the handles are different colors all right so this is our next one uh what do you call this kitchen kitchen shelves so as you oh let me try out the colors duh <laughs> um so that's coming a lot of different colors and um the painting actually doesn't change but the color does change so very awesome so you know how like we like to add sh or i like to add shelves and then we have to use move objects on and then press number nine and bring it up now we have it all together <laughs> so very very cool 
super super cool oh my goodness i'm gonna die over all these kitchen stuff all right so let's see on to the lights we have this canon canonical cone <laughs> me trying to pronounce um but it does come in a lot of different colors you can't really see right here but let me show you here so you have like orange red blue black brown and so forth all right next one is the steam catcher so oh this actually uh shoots out light so that's very awesome uh can we bring it over here so this is supposed to go over the the, what you call it the stove and I like how there's like a glass kind of surround surrounds it yeah very 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 modern definitely very modern I do like and oh the last thing is the fridge or freezer burn be gone fridge and the fridge is not so expensive it's about 2,000 some simoleons not too bad all right so let's see it does come in a lot of different colors uh, I actually like this one a lot where it's kind of like a messy grayish white mixture of colors very awesome all right so that's pretty much it for the cool kitchen stuff I am definitely gonna incorporate this into my Disney legacy since I kind of want to change up the kitchen as well so don't forget to check out tomorrow's uh, part while showing you me kind of redecorating the kitchen using a lot of these items well that is if I have money so keep an eye out for that if you want to see me put together this whole stuff pack into my Disney legacy I think that'll be very interesting but yeah um let me know what you guys think of this uh, stuff pack are you as excited as me <laughs> I think I'm gonna die over the painting seriously no lie but uh yeah so Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know as well if you want me to continue doing these reviews because I usually wait a while before I purchase them. But lately, I've just been getting it the minute they come out. So, yeah, let me know. Let a homegirl know. So, like always, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to comment, rate, or subscribe if you haven't already because you're not going to regret it. And, oh, don't forget if you have not watched my giveaway video check it out if you want to get your hands on a sims 4 base game copy or get to work copy so don't forget to check that out and i'll talk to you guys later